We begin tonight with a deadly campus shooting. This evening, authorities confirming multiple deaths after a mass shooting at a quiet community college south of Portland, Oregon. The gunman opening fire in multiple classrooms, several dead, at least 20 injured. As you heard the president speaking moments ago, saying another community stunned with grief. That campus on lockdown, SWAT teams on the scene at this hour. The emotional reunions, a close-knit community now reeling. The aerial pictures coming in at this hour, bomb sniffing dogs there in the parking lot. The FBI now on the scene and word coming in the gunman. A 20 year old male was killed after exchanging gunfire with authorities. ABC's Neil Karlinski in Oregon tonight leading us off. 1030 AM, the frantic calls started coming in an active shooter on the rural Oregon campus. Copy active shooter UCC 1140 Umqua College Road. Within minutes, students inside Umqua Community College were tweeting their terror. Oh my God, there's someone shooting on campus, tweeted one. Students are running everywhere. Holy God. The teacher came running in and only told us to get inside the teacher's office and get down as fast as we could and drop everything. It must be terrifying. Oh, it was. It was it was horrifying. And being locked in there and not knowing if my friends were okay, um, I, of course, was bawling my eyes out. 1174 Medical Aid. This is for an active shooter at UCC. Emergency vehicles flooded the scene. Radio traffic indicates the shooter was still firing. This is going to be the Snyder Hall. Somebody is outside one of the doors shooting through the door. Amber Adams is a student at the school. Shots were being fired. We heard shots and immediately took cover, went down, and heard just multiple shots going off, um, a lot of screaming. Lori Reisner, another student, describes chaos. A lady just went running by me crying, saying that there's a an active shooter on campus. Everybody get into this hallway. Authorities tonight saying the 20 year old male shooter engaged in a shootout with police before being shot dead. Code 4, sus suspect is down. Our number one priority right now is to make sure that the scene is secure and the victims are treated and that we uh, continue to make sure that uh, there are no additional threats. Students could be seen being let out of the school, their bags being checked by police. Canine units sweeping the campus, investigators establishing crime scenes. The college of about 3,000 students is in a rural area about 180 miles south of Portland, and it took some time for emergency officials to make sense of the scope of the carnage. Tonight, the Douglas County Sheriff saying there are 10 confirmed fatalities and seven additional injuries. The injured arrive on stretchers. The work that first responders have done is harrowing. On the campus, students hugging, scenes of incredible grief. In the coming days, we'll learn about the victims. Young men and women who were studying and learning and working hard, their eyes set on the future, their dreams on what they could make of their lives. And America will wrap everyone who's grieving with our prayers and our love. This is a town in grieving tonight. The scene of the shooting is just a few short blocks from here. Again, the shooter is described as a 20-year-old male. He was a student at the school. And we expect to learn a lot more about him in the hours and days ahead. David. Neil Karlinski will stay on the scene throughout the night. And as you heard from the president, this is the 16th time he's come before the cameras after a mass shooting. And ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas live in our Washington bureau tonight. Pierre, we know there's a large group of federal agents heading to the scene at this hour. That's right, David. Scores of federal agents from the FBI, U.S. Marshals and ATF are now on the scene. Law enforcement sources say they believe they have identified the shooter and they have begun an extensive background investigation into his life. They say he left behind messages. There's no known nexus to international terrorism at this point. Our sources tell us four firearms were found at the scene, three pistols and an assault rifle.